In this video, we're going to go over how to install a Hobie Getaway forward trampoline. You'll need the forward trampoline for the Hobie Getaway and some lacing. Some sort of measuring device like a tape measure or ruler can be very helpful. Start by feeding the aft section of the trampoline into the groove on the bottom of the crossbar as shown in the video. Feed the trampoline in roughly centered. Next, feed a couple of inches of the sides into the side rails. Then carefully pull the trampoline evenly and firmly forward. Once everything's set up, go ahead and make sure you've got an even spacing between the starboard and the port holes and the trampoline. With some small line, tie off to the forward crossbar and pre-tension the trampoline using the forward grommets. This step isn't required, but this can help improve the appearance of your trampoline and simplify the installation. At this point, you can feed your original Hobie Getaway forward tensioning rod through the forward tube of the trampoline. If your original tensioning rod is missing or damaged, give us a call as we do have some replacement options available. Now you're ready to tie on the actual trampoline lacing. Go ahead and tie a bowline to the eye strap on the starboard side of the boat with enough room so you can actually tension the trampoline without feeding the knot into the grommet. Feed the other end of the lacing through the grommet all the way through and then back through the eye strap on the forward crossbar. Next, feed the lacing up through the slug slide on the forward crossbar and then around the tensioning rod inside the forward tube of the trampoline. Then put the lacing back through the slug slide and pull out the slack. Feed the lacing up through the next slug slide, back around the tensioning rod in the next hole, and then back through the slug slide again. Continue to remove the slack and proceed down the line until you have the lacing through all of the slug slides and holes in the trampoline. As you can see, the slug slides do move a bit as you're working on it, so don't worry about it until everything's in place. You can adjust them as needed.
tie off a temporary knot on the other side just to kind of hold the line in place for the next step. Now go back to the starboard side of the boat and start tensioning your lacing. The first couple of passes you can just use your hands. You may brace yourself against the boat. Whatever you need to do to get that trampoline tight. Proceed down the line again, taking care that you don't release the tension as you proceed down the line. Once you're satisfied that the trampoline's tight, you can go ahead and tie off the trampoline lacing on the other side of the boat. You can use whatever fastening method you prefer. We typically will use a half hitch. In this case, we're using a number of half hitches to make sure that they don't come undone. Once you're happy with the tension in the knot, you can go ahead and cut off the excess lacing material, singe it off, and tuck it away. With your tramp lacing tied off and tucked away, you can now remove those pre-tensioning rope segments you tied on earlier. At this point your trampoline should be drum tight and ready to go for a sale. SLO Sewing Canvas makes trampolines, sails, and boat covers for a number of small vessels. Give us a call, check out our website, or email us for more information. Thanks for watching the video.